Good evening. Leading the news tonight, shock for a Riverton couple last night. They arrived home just after six to find an intruder in their beachfront house. The intruder grabbed 76-year-old Daphne Kennedy, threatened her with a knife and demanded money. She had a knight in shining armour though. Her 80-year-old husband Roland took on the 17-year-old attacker, disarmed him and held him till the police arrived. Police are amazed at his bravery. Here's Sean Summerfield with this story. A not-so-peaceful retirement. Daphne and Roland have lived in Riverton for 17 years, but the beauty of the seaside village was shattered last night when a 17-year-old man broke into their home through this bathroom window. The offender was in for a surprise. The Kennedys arrived as he was ransacking their house in search of money. He met me in the doorway and had a knife above my head and wanted money. To the rescue came 80-year-old Roland with his trusty garden fork in hand. I raised above my head, I said, I'm a damn good one to hit it over your head, but I said it'd probably break. The attacker wasn't going to give up though. And he kept saying, I want money, want money, want money that could come in here and do all this damage and what I mean, uh, we've never had anything to do with him or that, why should he be allowed to come in and uh, make a mess of everyone's house? And Once he'd disarmed the attacker, Roland held him over this balcony. By now the 17 year old was regretting his actions. Ah, oh, let me go, let me go. I said, what will I let you go for? Oh, I'll give you a hand to clean up, I'll give you a hand to clean up. Yeah, I said I wouldn't even let you inside the door. Local police say they're amazed at the couple's calm attitude throughout the ordeal. Probably fair to say at that stage that uh, the offender was uh, more pleased to see us than Mr Kennedy, who, uh, who at that stage had it uh, pretty well under control. The house is back to normal and the only surprises today have been gifts from well-wishers all over the country. Roland says he hopes the offender receives fitting punishment. So I could think lots of things, I'd say, put him in there and throw away the key, but uh, uh, what can you do? What will the courts do? That's the point. In future, it might pay to read the signs. This is Sean Summerfield for Mercury News. And to international news, conditions worsened yesterday for 340 hostages held